What is up, everybody? I'm Zucovius. Welcome back to The Messenger. This is part two of many. Um, on the last episode, we got we killed the first boss. We're about to go to the second boss. We talked about uh, we talked about my wife and how she uh, put a bunch of ducks. Uh, there, there were ducks in the last episode. Not really, but I talked about them. Uh, and we're just. Uh, Basically, and we're going to continue embracing the whimsy that is The Messenger. Uh, this is a very comical game. Uh, I tried my hand at voice acting. I will probably continue that as well. And uh, if you're watching this, you, that probably did not annoy you to death. So thank you. Appreciate it. I'm glad I'm not annoying. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you like what you see and you like what you hear, do me a big favor, like, subscribe, uh, and uh, check out the Patreon if you want more, uh, want some early access and bonus content. So go uh, go check that out. There's there's some free stuff on there, too. If you just, uh, just go check it out. You might like it. Uh, anyway, let's let's get going. Do, 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 do. Necromancer. And with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Roxton. Is he a teddy bear? Um, what now? We have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Uh, Say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing. Watch this. <laughs> um, who dares enter my lair? Uh-oh. Is that, is that the messenger? Looks like it. What do, what do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. And guard, face the mighty might of Ruxton the Great. All right, let's kick his ass. Er. Ah, shit. Stand under the skull. All right. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, there's a lightning storm going on. Or there was, and uh, actually took me forever to get started because uh, my hard drive was messed up. Oh, he's flashing. He's almost dead. And so am I. Oh, damn it! Oh, we're off to a great start here. If all this fails, you can try jumping. Shut your bitch ass up. Anyway, we, we, we had a power outage and it messed up my hard drive and it took me like 10, 15 minutes just to get started, which really sucked. But we're going. <laughs> I scared the guy away. I forget his name. Oh, shit. He looks like something off a of Shovel Knight. That's a game I want to do at some point. Yeah, Shovel Knight was such a cool game. Uh, actually, platinum that, platinum that game. Anyway, boss is dead. Move trophy. I yield. Wait, I don't. 
It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions, then? I'm listening. I don't know, just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well, I could. That's... Yeah, that was a good point, actually. It's settled then. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Why, why, why thank you. Alright. Oh, I almost died again. Damn. Bamboo Creek. It's very, very green. Very, very bamboo-y. recording we uh we're, we're doing our shopping uh on a different day uh we decided to go to uh quote unquote the the good the good target which is a little it's a bit of a more of a drive but uh that, it, it had the stuff that my wife wanted so we went there and we saw this guy in front of us. Uh, he was making all these little hand gestures in his car. I don't know if he was stretching or what, but I just I don't know where. I just started like doing the same thing he was doing, and my wife just about, about died laughing. And she, and she was driving too, so it was probably potentially very dangerous. But anyway, that was a uh, one story we had from uh, from the day. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep funny stories going here. You know, embracing the whimsy. I'm going to stop saying that now. Upgrade! What do we got to upgrade? Uh, nothing so far. Alright, we, we got to... We, we got to grind a little bit more to upgrade our stuff. Uh, about the current area. Alright, let's get my voice acting going here. Deep breath. Bamboo <sighs> Creek. That must be a sight for sore eyes after you trek in the catacombs. Sure is. Do make the best of it. The place is as close to a day off as you'll get on this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. Huh? Hey, I guess that says more about your mindset than about the world. <laughs> what do you want to change? <laughs> so, that's so freaking deep. <laughs> What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're a touch the unidentified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy. Or time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we have been doing it so far. You select what you want and give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thumb. I meant the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. And I'm busy. <laughs> any stories to share? Do you have any stories to share? Of course I do, but now is not the time. Why not? You're in Bamboo Creek. This is as sunny as it gets in this here cursed world. So? So I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. Bye now. <laughs> Probably my favorite character in all games, right there. 43 more power seals to open that chest. 
Uh, I, I have beaten this game on the Switch. I've not gotten all of the time of the shards, the uh, or power seals rather. So I have no clue what they do. There we go. It's all skill right there, baby. So I may, as I may or may not have mentioned in the last episode, this plays a lot similar to uh, Ninja Gaiden. This is actually a parody of Ninja Gaiden and other ninja games and other adventure games and. Yeah, I've got a bit of a... Ah, shit. So Ninja Gaiden is a notorious motherfucker. I just got smashed by a door. Sorry about, the Sorry about the pain, but I can't pay myself back if death isn't confirmed. Oh man, that, that set me back. Asshole door. Anyway, uh, my first ever Ninja Gaiden game I ever played, or Ninja Gaiden, if you rather, however you prefer to pronounce it, we had a big spiel about that last episode, uh, it was the original arcade game, yes, Ninja Gaiden was an arcade game before... Uh, it came to the NES. Uh, it was a uh, beat 'em up. You play as a ninja. There wasn't, much, there wasn't really a story to it at all. But you, you just walk from left to right, beat up all the uh, hockey mask wearing sons of bitches. And it's, and it's a pretty difficult game too. It's just as di it's just as difficult as the uh, NES game. It's uh, and that's uh, especially at the last level. My goodness. I had it to downloads the Messenger version 2.02. .02. What the heck? When did that happen? Still making updates for this game apparently. That's that's cool. But anyway, uh, when I was about like nine or ten, uh, oh, who's this guy? Mini ball. He's gone. Cool. But anyway, I, I, I was at my grandmother's house and I rented Ninja Gaiden 2. And it's one of the, uh, it was one of the uh, coolest games I've ever got to play. Uh, very frustrating, but man, uh, I do have good memories of it. I remember all the cutscenes. Part of that game was I always got to uh, I was I, I would I was trying to rent it I would get to the fifth boss and the fifth boss was uh, the main villain of the game this fellow named Ashtar uh, and Ashtar was a badass you know why Ashtar was a badass because he looked like Shredder that's why. Yeah, in the 90s, that was kind of a thing about the 90s. That you want to be a badass villain, dress up like Shredder. Uh, 
I used to, uh, I used to adore Power Rangers. Can't go back. I can't. I can't really go back to it, but I do. I, I, I do have a couple pop figures uh, of the main villains, Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed. He was a. He looked cool because <laughs> he looked like Shredder. If you look like Shredder, that 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 pretty much spells badass. I hear thunder outside. Oh shit. Serendipitous minds. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores a key charge. That's handy dandy. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores a hit point. That's uh, that is very serendipitous. Uh, cool. Uh, let's let's do that one. We'll get the other one next time. Uh, nothing to chat about because it's grayed out. But anyway, I rented I rented Ninja Guide 2 so many times. I, I would make it to Ashtar every time. Okay, so the saw blade does insta kill you. Good to know. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't set me back very far. I like a don't lose any uh, time shards. You just uh, don't gain any. But, oh man, one day I finally done did it. Okay, so uh, I was wrong on the last episode. Uh, the spikes are not Mega Man style. They don't insta-kill you. Uh, we know that now. And now we know. beat Ashtar. I was like, oh god, finally I beat I beat this game. Oh my god. I was so happy. But when uh, there was another cutscene and and then we went to the next act. I was like, oh my god, it's not over. Oh, it was far from over. I never I ended up never beating it at that age, that stage of life. Uh, later in life, uh, I, I did. It's the only Ninja Gaiden game I can beat, uh, and that's thanks to the there's, there's a power up you can get these little shadow clones you can you can find, and that. That, that really helps helps you out, especially in, in some of the final bosses. You got that uh, that little, you got the little shadow shadow clone. You can uh, position yourself just right to where you can uh, kill some of these bosses really easily. Uh, the first one doesn't have that. Uh, but the first one it, it, it is quite infamous. Uh, when you get to the final boss, the, the, the final boss has you know, like three different phases, or, or three. Or the, the final battle is like three different bosses. You get you, if you get killed by one any of those three bosses, you go all the way back to the beginning of that level. That boss is insanely hard. And 
And I just I just noticed these are supposed to be Medusa heads from Castlevania. That's what they're spoofing here. See a little arc movement there. They, they kind of look Medusa head like. I've yet to do, uh, time of this recording, I've yet to do any Castle, Castlevania games. I do want to try a challenge that I've come up with, uh, but that'll be in a different video. Uh, uh, of course, Symphony of the Night will happen at some point. Uh, don't know when, but it'll happen. One of the greatest games of all time right there. Oh, okay, so shut up. Okay, I thought that was a doorway. I think we're at the top here. All right, is it boss time? Need anything? Chat. Level boss! Heck yeah, there's some short levels here. So I guess the boss is up next. A boss in Bamboo Creek? That's a good one. Well, with a layout, you know, perfectly centered gate, symmetrical lanterns, no scrolling, I just thought. Look, they're perfectly free to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them. But I believe I told you this place was like your day off. So? Well, would you fight a boss on your day off? Exactly. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yes, I can get the uh, key charge. Hell yeah. Alright, what's next? Prepare my key charges plus one, shurikens pierce one target, healthy sleeping and eating, eating habits give you more energy to use in combat. Ooh, this one's got two ways. Cursory jackets, path of resilience. Meditation, ooh, cool. But, but pretty, pretty standard stuff here. Nothing seems, nothing, no super big abilities going on right now. Uh, let's go! B -b -b boss time! Woo! Oh, water boss! No? Oh, okay. It's quiet. Well, okay then, cool. He, he, the dude wasn't joking. There was no boss here. <laughs> so let's go through the Howling Grotto. Is that the wind? Oh, new ability. All right, let's go. fell in a pit. That, that gap is way too wide. There's no way it can make the jump. This reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a, fr touching on a freedom humans could seldom dream of. Someone mistake them for gods. Incredible. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. You've got the wingsuit. Press and hold X while airborne to glide. Deploy over geysers to fly upwards. Anything? Upgrade. Aerobatics for weak suit attack. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's chat about the current area. Welcome to the Howling Grotto. Do people live here? Some cave dwelling creatures lived here a long time ago. They built structures from the streams of emerald running through the rock and believed the wind was the breath of a god. 
Anything I should know? Not really, other than it's gliding time. Bitches. Huh? Well, that wingsuit I told you? Yeah? Sorry, I don't have enough contextual data. I meant to say something that would make sense regardless of whether you had already used a wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. You're being awkward now. What's wrong with you? I gave you something that virtually, virtually lets you fly and you'd rather stay here and chat? Wingsuit. Thanks for the wingsuit. You're about, don't forget to try it out by pressing and holding X while airborne. Why was it free, not the other upgrades? Because it was mandatory to your progression. We you can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Will there be more freebies in the future? There's only one way to find out now, is it? Isn't there? What do you mean? I mean you should carry on with the quest while letting your heart know for sure that this here cursed world and its inhabitants have a lot of surprises left in store for you. What do you want to chat about? You have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together and be a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy and happy when he's sad. It worked like a literal charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizard promptly grabbed the ring to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how can a non-magic ring make you sad when you're happy and happy when you're sad? I think I know where this is going. <laughs> huh? And it does? Not really. It had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Whoa, that's deep! It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety through a fairy tale. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hell no, don't push it. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Whee, I can fly! Whee! Cool. Oh no! Some Mario 3 shit right here. Hang on, what's over here? I lost health to get all my health back. It's like when me and my wife play Subterra and uh, there's an ability, it's a board game we uh, play sometimes. Uh, sometimes you can actually, uh, one of the things you can do is uh, you can take extra actions in a turn by and, and risk losing health. Uh, which is called uh, exerting. Anyway, uh, oftentimes we would uh, you would heal and roll to see if we. Uh, shit. Times we would uh, heal up and then like lose health. <laughs> so. So that's what that reminded me of. Okay, it's uh, Ooh. oh damn. So there's another Ninja Guide Two enemy right there. All right, time out, guys. I gotta go check on my check on my kiddo. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry for, for that delay there. Uh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, oh, rock monsters. Uh, yeah, there is a enemy in Ninja Gaiden 2. 
it throws rocks at you. That's basically what that reminds me of. there. Oh, I feel like there's something down here. Okay, I felt wrong. Okay, anyway, carry on. I'm actually still used to playing Ninja Gaiden 2. You act when you, if you're on a wall, you actually use your power up. In this game, yet you, you actually uh, get to use your sword. hole and, and see what's down there but I don't I th I'll probably die if I do that all right what do we got uh nothing I'm just gonna upgrade something all right aerobatics okay cool I can now attack with my wing suit cool I like it I just noticed the little ball thing walk. Look at that. That's kind of creepy looking, but kind of cute looking too. Tell me to go up. There's something down there. There's a hidden something. A certain I don't know what yet. So 
So I just started playing randomly last night. Uh, There's a game I had on PlayStation Plus, uh, Hellsinger. Uh, it had a tagline to it. I forget what, what it was. Uh, Metal Hellsinger or some shit like that. Uh, anyway, it's a shooter game, but it's like a rhythm game too. It's got these. It plays like Doom. But you got to actually, you get damage multipliers and shit when you uh, shoot and attack to the beat of a song that's playing. It's really neat. If you, uh, you got this big ass multiplier you do, if you get, if you get it all the way up to like 16, uh, that's like the highest you can get in the, the, uh, the vocalist will actually come in and start screaming and shit, and it's really, really awesome. Uh, I sampled it on PC uh, a long time ago, and it gave me, it, it gave me like Doom Eternal vibes. Uh, I, I loved Doom 2016, but the uh, but Doom Eternal was just a bit much, and uh, it was like it was. It was, just, it was just really crazy, uh, but uh, I haven't got. I didn't get very far last night, but I, I gave it kind of. A, I gave it a shot on PS5, and it was, it was kind of fun. Uh, but that might change when I play it. Later, when I play it again later and get further in the game. Level boss. Well, I hope you're up for a challenge. Why? Because something big is up next. What? Well, let's just say you're about to fight someone who understands that the best defense is a good defense. Who? I wish I could tell you. Anyway, your three questions are up. Carry on. Since when is there a three questions rule? Hey, that's four now. What do you want to chat about? Alright, so I got all my uh, stuff here. It's uh, b -b -b boss time. Oh, big black screen. Alright. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam! 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 Whoa, okay, so watch out. Oh. Control here, unless he changes phases here. There we go. I think we got this guy down pat. All right, I cannot get hit again. Whoa, hello. Hit him in the face, stay gummit. Oh, okay, I was so close. Or you could have watched your step. No, shut up. All right, let's try this again with a little less dying this time.
Oh, damn, I was standing too close. Oh, damn. Maybe he just randomly changes phases there. Okay, he's edge. Ah, shit. Damn! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, third time's the charm here. this cutscene again. I know it's not I know it's not very long, but damn, I'd like to I like to get straight to the boss. Ah, damn. Tag me in the Son. This should do him in, hopefully. Uh... All right. Woo! Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Son of a... Oh, damn. I didn't uh, know that was going to happen. Oh, man. Time's a charm. <laughs> Damn. Go! Get him nice and quick.
Boom, baby. Ah, I gotta get him one more time. Damn, I, I, I was standing just too far away. I should get him this time. There we go. There we go. Woo! That was a doozy. Whee! Like, thanks for this. Like, thanks for destroying my golem. Well, you attack first. What are you talking about? I have been digging through these caverns for centuries and you just randomly engaged. No way. Way. No way. You know what? Fair enough. I say I see how you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. Look, I'm sorry I destroyed your gold, okay? Don't worry about it. I mean it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh. I'll adjust the wind for you. Good luck on your quest. <laughs> My bad. Well, he's a nice guy. He, at least there was a good sport about it. sad. Okay, make sure those mushrooms didn't do anything when... <laughs> is that quicksand or is that lava? It's quicksand! Spiky man. didn't make it out of that alive. Hey, I'm a ninja. That's what we do. Woo! All right. Need anything? Let's see. Can I upgrade? I cannot upgrade anything yet. Chat. Emerald Golem. I still can't believe you defeated the Emerald Golem. Did you get a chance to understand its motive? 
thing was evil. It was just digging away. What? You mean all these messengers that were killed? All a misunderstanding. Wow. What do you want to chat about? Welcome to Quill Shroom Marsh, said no one ever. Yeah, this place is eerie. Tell me about it. I once had to look through the mud for an artifact. They gave up pretty quickly. What happened to this area? Legend says it used to be ruled by a monstrosity called the Primal Fear until a brave monk defeated it. Both were very mighty indeed, but with its final breath, the Primal Fear cursed the monk forever. Cursed? Legend also says that the monk still roams the marsh to this day, turning any trespassers into fungi. Oh, great. No one knows whether any of that is true, but yeah, I'd pick up the pace if I were you. Uh, see if you got any stories. Got any stories to share? Of course, there's one for you. There once was a messenger who kept asking for stories. Even though he was supposed to move on with this very important quest, he just couldn't get enough. The shopkeeper, leaving in a void outside of time, was connected to all eras, and so at first was happy to share the myths and legends encountered over decades of traveling. Alas, the messenger never seemed to appreciate the morals or takeaways, so that the shopkeeper decided to be done with the story thing. The end. No way! I like your stories. Come on. Maybe later. We'll see. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. That is part two of The Messenger. I'm going to stop things right here. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate it, every each and every one of y'all. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, do me a big favor. Like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, follow me on the socials, all that fun stuff. And, uh, uh, with, that, with that said, I'm Jacobius signing off. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time.